If you are a woman who is not experiencing orgasm every single time that you get spicy with your husband, what if you asked him to take his orgasm off the table? I'm Angela, the Christian sexpert. I talk about all things sex and intimacy and Christian marriage. There is a massive orgasm gap in this country, particularly among evangelical women. Did you know that 95% of the time in a sexual encounter, a husband orgasms versus 49% of the time for the evangelical woman per sexual encounter? And there can be a multitude of reasons for that to happen, but one of the very common ones is purity culture damage has caused a lot of women to experience sexual dysfunction. In fact, Sheila Ray Gregor conducted a study that shows that evangelical women are at a higher risk for sexual dysfunction than non-evangelicals. Sometimes it's simply a matter of she doesn't know how to find her own orgasm. And if that is the case, you simply don't know how to get there every time. And this is not a matter of sexual coercion or him not prioritizing your orgasm or hormone problems or medication side effect problems. This is simply like, I just don't know how to get there. I'm still learning. We're still newlyweds. I don't know what's going on. What if you asked him to take his orgasm off the table? What if in a offer of solidarity, he takes his peak off the table until you have learned how to reach yours every time? There's this narrative in the evangelical church that a woman needs to keep her husband well satisfied so that he doesn't stray. And so we're taught to suppress our own desire for an orgasm in order to ensure that he's getting there so that he doesn't go out and use pornography or cheat on us or things like that. And that's not how God designed our evangelical marriages to be. It's a perversion and it's bad men writing this narrative and women are picking it up out of fear. And so I would propose that one of the most kind and loving things a new husband can do for his wife that is struggling in this area is to table his own pleasure and focus solely on helping her learn to experience pleasure. Learning to allow ourselves to experience pleasure is terrifying, especially for evangelical women because we've never been taught that it's okay to experience pleasure for ourselves. And if you need help in this area, don't forget, I have a Patreon where I teach all the spicy things I can't teach here, and I offer private coaching. I would be happy to walk through this journey with you of learning how to find your peak. As always, go have good sex.